Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a whiteboard style video to use for a Kickstarter campaign, and we're going to use Doodly to do it. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you have a Kickstarter campaign that you're working on, Doodly is a great way to make a visually appealing, easy to follow video for your potential backers to watch. Of course, you are going to need a script. So today we're going to use a fictional product called the Wonder Widget to show you how Doodly can bring your Kickstarter video to life. Your script should include who you are, how you came up with the idea, where it is in the product development journey, how you feel about the product, a teaser about the rewards you're offering, and how you're going to use the money raised. You'll also want to ask the viewers for support. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but really, it's only just a few sentences. For example, here's the script that I have for my fictional Wonder Widget project. So let's go ahead and get started. What we want to do is go back to our main dashboard and click Create New Video. And let's give it a title. I'm going to call it the Wonder Widget Kickstarter Video. I'm just going to go with the whiteboard. I like it. It's fine. And then the resolution. I think for this 720p will be fine. It's a horizontal format, which Kickstarter does require. And it's high definition, but it's not super high definition. So the file size won't get super large. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have our blank presentation. For this video, we're going to need four scenes, one for each of my paragraphs. So let's start with the first one. It's kind of our introduction. So it should have a picture of me and my product, right? We want it to be personalized so that they know who they are backing. So in our, our introduction scene, we had that lady pointing at something and it had that white background. And I like that. So let's upload something like that. So you go to your props tab and hit the plus sign. And then you're just gonna browse for your files. Here it is. Now, of course, you're gonna upload your own photo of your own self. So it's the same process. And I want this to be nice and large because you'll see this white is not exactly the same color white as my background. So I just wanna fill this up and I think that will be just fine. Now I need my product image. So I also, whoops, have that. So the same process, you're in props, the blue plus sign, and then just browse for your file. And this is my little widget here, the wonder widget. And then maybe we wanna add a little bit of text here. So let's find a font that we like. And here I'm just adding a few little bullet points that you know you may or may not want to add, but I, I think we're gonna do that today, so. So something like this will be just fine. Now, how do we want these to come on? If we look at our preview, you'll see they're gonna scribble on and that erase thing. So I want to change that. And the way you do that is go into settings. And first of all, turn off erase mode. That's if you don't like that erasing thing. I don't personally like it, so I always do this. And I also want to change the hand. I want a female hand because I'm going to use my own voice. So it needs to match me a little bit better. And again, we're, re we're pretending that's me. So it's no longer going to erase. But what about that scribble? Well, you go up, you select the photo, and then collect the little pencil icon. By default, it does that. Well, we can change the reveal mode to fade, and now it's just gonna fade on, and I like that much better. You'll notice it's a three second fade by default. I'm gonna go one second. It doesn't need to be that long. I'm gonna do the same thing for my little wonder widget, and again, I'm gonna make it just pop on real quick. And then we need to decide, okay, do we want to see the actual item right away or do we want the words to come on first? So I think maybe if we say make your life easier and then the Wonder Widget comes on and then we could go on to be one of the first backers and then we love our supporters. 
I think timing for each of these will be fine. I would like maybe a little bit of a delay, just a little one, maybe one second between each of those bullets. So let's take a little preview real quick. Now remember, I'm going to be talking as this is happening, so I'm going to do a voiceover. So we may need to fine tune that a little bit, but I think that's looking nice. So let's go on to our second scene. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a character now. So we need a, a woman, and probably a businesswoman. Business woman. And let's use Elisa. She's got kind of that long hair pretending that this is representing this person here. So I think that's good. And then we'll have a speech bubble. And you just kind of want to represent kind of what your problem and solutions are using your graphics and whatever other elements you're using. Remember, mine is very generic, but that's okay for this example. And then let's go ahead and add something that represents our widget again. So let's go ahead and do props and plus sign. I've got another little gadget here. So let's see, the light bulb with the gears. That was in my other graphic, but now we're just gonna have it pop on by itself. And I think we want it to pop on in a thought bubble as well. So control A selects everything. And now I can move this over here. And I'm gonna have this pop up in a thought bubble. So I need a different one. Here, let's use this one. Control click to select a couple of items or command depending on your operating system. Now you'll notice my thought bubble here is in front of my little light bulb. So what do I do? Well, I go over here and you just move this. Also, you can use these little buttons right here to change it. Again, we want to adjust our timing. So I'm going to say two seconds to have the girl draw on, one second for each of the thought bubbles. So this can come on fast. I think timing on that will be fine. And then the light bulb, I want, you know, I might actually just have it pop up. So let's make it zero. Probably want to add a little bit of time at the end of each of these two scenes so far. Two seconds should be plenty. And the way you do it is you go to scene settings, extra time at end. Okay, so I'm doing two seconds. So let's create a new scene, or our third scene. Just click right in there. Let's go back to our light bulb, because remember, this is our product. And then let's add some text. Definitely gonna wanna delay before this comes on, because we're not even gonna ask them until the very end. So, let me say five seconds. And I think I'm gonna have the light bulb actually come on after that what needs to happen these things and then the light bulb comes on because then that says okay Kickstarter made it happen anyway okay that's good enough for now let's go to our last scene and that's just gonna be thank you for your consideration I hope you support our, our things so maybe we put our original image here of our lady so I'm gonna go back to scene one and select it and let's also select our widget so just these two items and we're gonna hit command or control C to copy we're gonna go over here to our blank scene and hit command or control V to paste so now we have those and everything's the same it remembers the fade in and the duration and then now let's just say and Really, that's all there is to it. Well, it had a little bit of time at the very end, just so there's something that they see before it disappears. We do need to add our voiceover. We can do it one scene at a time, and that gives you a little bit of breathing room. You don't have to feel like you have to be perfect and memorize this whole thing or do it all in one take. So let's do it one scene at a time. And we're gonna go down here 
where you see the little microphone button. So click your little playhead over so that it's where you're working. So we want it at the beginning. And then this little plus sign in our little microphone timeline. Go ahead and click that. And when you're ready, you're gonna click the little red button and start talking. So I've got my script in hand and I know what I wanna say for this first scene. So don't even look at what's playing because timing's gonna be slightly off. You're gonna have to go back and fine tune it. So don't use that as your guide. Just say what you gotta say and then you'll go back and fix it. So here we go. My name is Pamela and I invented the Wonder Widget. It's a new kind of gadget that makes your life easier. And then you hit stop when you're done with that take. So now that I have it, I can shorten this little dead space at the beginning and ending, and then move this around wherever we want it. And I think, you know, just like that is fine. So just gonna clean up a few little things. Get rid of the dead air, it's always helpful. Okay, so I think probably we wanna take a look on our show preview over here, the little mini one. Now I like the show preview because you have a little greater control over things. So it's gonna end right here and that's fine. And then we want our voice, our second part, to start with the second scene. Now this might be a little long of a gap so let's just see if we can't shorten this just a touch. So go to scene settings and instead of two full seconds, let's go one and a half. And then maybe we just move this down just a little bit. And then let's move this one down. Makes your life easier. I came up with the idea for the Wonder Widget when I was trying to find a way to make my own life easier. I thought, so I set out to create a product. So there has to be a better way to do this. I think maybe three seconds would be good. And then we need a little bit of a delay before our idea comes on. So I'm just adding a couple seconds. Let's try that. And I thought there has to be a better way to do this. So I set out to create a product to help people like me. And then finally, if we wanted to add some music, we could certainly do that. You'll notice we have a little bit of lead time before I start talking, so it would be nice to have some music. So how do you do that? Well, you go to sounds and categories, music, and you can just browse through Doodly's pre-recorded royalty-free music library. So let's just take this one. And you'll see it's a little long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink it down. And then right click, choose fade out. And then let's just stretch it out so it's a nice slow fade. And then at the beginning, it's gonna come on boom, boom, boom. So we may wanna fade it in, it's up to you. And that's pretty much it. So let's take a quick look. My name is Pamela and I invented the Wonder Widget. It's a new kind of gadget. Okay, you notice how the music is super loud and overly dramatic? Let's go over here. Click the little speaker icon. I'm gonna turn it way down, 5%. <laughs> Let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. My name is Pamela and I invented the Wonder Widget. It's a new kind of gadget that makes your life easier. I came up with the idea for the Wonder Widget when I was trying to find a way to make my own life easier. I thought there has to be a better way to do this. So I set out to create a product to help people like me. To make it happen, we need a working prototype and to set up production. That's where Kickstarter comes in. I believe in the Wonder Widget and I know it can help a lot of people. And that's why I'm asking for your support. With your help, we can get the Wonder Widget off the ground and into people's hands. Our backers are well rewarded with early access and other rewards. Thank you for your consideration. I hope you'll support our Kickstarter campaign. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.